Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here in Foley Square. It's Tuesday, June 20th, 2023. We're beginning the week here on Tuesday, yesterday being June 10th. Uh, and there's a trial coming to a close. It's U.S. versus Britej Goyle. Uh, he worked at Goldman Sachs. His friend, one-time friend, Mr. Naranjan, says that Goel stole merger information, gave it to him, he traded it in his brother's account. Naranjan managed to parlay this into a non-prosecution agreement and testify for several days against Goel. But Goel, on Friday, surprisingly, took the stand. Now, over the weekend, we've covered some various filings where the government now wants to cross-examine the defendant about an affair that he had, about possibly cheating at UCAL Berkeley Business School. Uh, they're opposing both of that. They have no problem with cross about drugs. So we're covering that trial down to the end. There's two other criminal trials beginning this week here on which we'll report probably as early as tomorrow. But there's also a sentencing here today of Dr. Robert Haddon, a longtime doctor affiliated with Columbia University, sexually abusing his female patients. Pretty terrible. And there's going to be two days of sentencing because there's so many victims. But today is the first day and we'll cover it. There's a lesser known, at least it seems to me, abuse case of Dr. Paducci. He was a urologist. His victim's mostly male. He's jailed. He's put in multiple requests to be released on bond. Both, all have been turned down. It's a case that we're covering closely, and there, seem, there are victims who've written to us in that case as well. But on the Trump beat, Friday, do, uh, uh, Alvin Bragg's response to Trump's request to remove uh, is due, and later this month there will be the hearing. We'll cover that in great detail. But I must turn to the United Nations, on which we focused yesterday, Juneteenth. And we also put in an application to be readmitted. For several, for low on a decade, Inner City Press covered the UN from within, increasingly critically, because totally unaccountable. Peacekeepers raping the people they're supposed to support, uh, the cholera in Haiti killing 10,000 Haitians. But rather than deal with critical journalism and answer questions, Antonio Guterres, the current Secretary General, had Inner City Press targeted, physically roughed up, and thrown out. Now, no response even to a letter from Quinn Emanuel Law Firm. Well, yesterday we applied to cover the UN General Assembly. So, watch this space.